Hello everyone, I'm John Doll, right here with the Ghost Layers Report in Tokyo, Japan. Now, there's been an interesting sort of kind of admission by the current TEPCO president, Hirose, excuse me, Naomi Hirose. Now, as you remember, he officially became CEO of TEPCO in 2012 when at a shareholders meeting when the TEPCO officially became a state-owned company through a shareholder buyout from the government. Now, he was a bureaucrat in, in the Japanese government for years, and they just put him in that position. Now, what he's basically come out and said, and I'll put some links in the description box of this video so you can look at the exact things, he said that nuclear power is not fully safe. And when commenting on the recent deal that the British government made with some French companies, I believe, he said, you should prepare for the worst when dealing with nuclear safety. Also, he's admitted to a little um, thing that the nuclear industry globally is completely guilty of, and I've always been guilty of. Um, he said that, in short, you know, we try to pursue, persuade people that nuclear power is 100% safe, and that was easy enough to do. On our side, we tell them how safe it is. And then the people hear that, and they say, okay, sure, safe, why not? That's very true. Now, the reason that's worked so well in the past is simply put, lack of information, and lack of people um, having access or ability to look into things a little bit deeper and to interconnect across nations and sometimes across oceans. Well, that's a little harder to do now due to the advent of the Internet and other ways for people to connect and share information with each other. So he's had to come out and say these things. Now, this is in no way him suggesting that Japan, or the rest of the world for that matter, should not use and have nuclear technology. Not at all. He's cornered. He has to admit this. The reason is because TEPCO continues to struggle to restart any reactors in Japan. Every time they try it, they face very stiff local opposition, especially from local politicians. Now, as we know, uh, local politicians tend to be a bit more connected to the population, and they can be pressured a lot easier. Now, that doesn't mean that anyone in the political class truly gives a damn. It's just that on the national level, the political class has access to a lot more resources and money to protect themselves and get reelected. On the local level, they're a bit limited. They do have to at least ask questions and say no to things that they would get them booted out very quickly because a lot of these local politicians live actually in the community with the people. So you have that. Yeah. So he's not at all going to come out and say, I'm into nuclear. There's no way. His interest and his agenda you know, are very different. See, he has made a career of being a bureaucrat. He's had to make alliances with people and cut deals with people to maintain his position and privilege. He can't cut those bonds anymore. Too late for him. He's trapped. So he will not ever say no more nuclear. Even if he may or may not feel that way. Because if he does that, he's gone. His whole career is over. He will, he'll probably lose a lot of money too. And he'll be disgraced. He's not willing to do that. At all. Too much for him to do. 
So I thought this video was worth making to point this out, to explain a few things and give a little bit of analysis and breakdown. Again, I hope you enjoy this video and all the videos that I do, of course. And if you want, please share this video around on various social media sites or anywhere in general you want. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel or it's the first time you've ever seen me, please subscribe. You'll get lots of videos like this plus a slew of other stuff. So until next time, this is John Doe in Tokyo, checking out.